tell me a little bit about Halliburton's efforts to get more CNG into your operations. Well, we um, we embarked uh, last year on a on a natural gas initiative within North America, and it uh, it entailed uh, you know a, a um, sizable capital investment of nearly a hundred uh, by fuel CNG uh, vehicles into our uh, North America business. Also, um, it entailed some of our innovative technologies around our Q10 dual fuel frack pump. Um, in the course of this year, we've now added the um, deployed uh, close to 100 of these vehicles in 15 separate Halliburton locations across seven states, uh, including here in Oklahoma with, with this event. Uh, we plan in, with our Q10 dual fuel frack pump, it's currently working in, in Pampa, Texas today, to add additional um, Q10 dual fuel frack pumps into our, into our business in Q3 and Q4 and well into 2014. So again, like, like the governor mentioned, you know, we're, uh, we're looking for multiple uses for natural gas. We're uh, looking for opportunities to create demand for natural gas, and our initiative uh, um, meets that purpose. Okay. Can, you, can these use field gas, or do you have to have a condensed natural gas, or compressed um, natural gas they, to work they, out? Right now, we're, um, we're deploying a, a, a frack spread to, to the northeast on our operations up there, and it will, um, it will use field gas. Uh, right now, um, the, the, um, the fleets primarily are using LNG, but the fleet that we're working for Apache in, our, uh, in the future state of that is going to be moved towards CNG. So CNG, LNG, and then working uh, with opportunities around field gas. Okay. And for those who don't really understand, what, what are the cost savings when you switch out diesel for, for natural gas? It's about half the, half the savings of, of diesel. So on the CNG vehicles, um, the way we're operating them right now, it all depends on how many miles you drive, but uh, the savings per vehicle will be about $5,100 um, per year per vehicle. So what you see in the, in the background is our, is our PS2500 Sandcastle. It's a vertical storage silo for, for propent. So our, our previous designs we've built for decades have been horizontal. They've had conveyor belts, diesel engines. What this design does greatly reduces our footprint on location. It, it goes to location empty, it's self-erecting using all solar power, no engine, and then we, uh, we pneumatically load the propent on location. So we've saved uh, over one and a half million gallons of diesel by utilizing this technology as well as reduced uh, CO2 emissions by 15,000 tons. And so this other unit over here, this is our Q10 pumping unit. It's a high pressure pumping unit. It's actually equipped with our dual fuel system. So the Q10 pump was designed specifically for the shale market so it can do high pressure and high rate for long term durations. We've already seen we can reduce the amount of equipment on location by using the Q10s as well as reduce our, our, our non-productive time and our maintenance costs. Now the dual fuel system allows us to substitute up to 60% of the diesel fuel with natural gas. So again, utilizing this, this abundant source here in the US. So we can run CNG, LNG, or conditioned fuel gas just based on customer preference.